And then finally, uh, you know, you've got everything rolled out, um, everything's humming away. How do you now sustain that so you don't actually go backwards? Um, so typically, yeah, like I said, you'll have, you know, multiple operations across multiple sites. Um, typically now, now you're going to have very clear roles and responsibilities. You know, you might have a chief remote pilot and senior remote pilots. There's a very clear structure um, around it. The overall program is aligned with the organization's goals. So, you know, it's it's basically seen by senior management as actually being pretty important to the to the organization and day-to-day operations. So there's there's kind of that alignment there. Um, and yeah, you start to get into the really complex stuff. So, you know, the be online a site, the drone in the box type applications uh, sort of happen on, on a regular basis. Uh, and what are the challenges here? So knowledge retention is a big one. Um, basically, the, the the big danger here is that chief remote pilot, you know, who's, who's seen it all the way through um, leaves uh, and all the knowledge leaves with them. Um, we've seen that a few times. Uh, that's happened to a few different organisations and everything kind of falls to pieces. Um, so, it, you know, it's one of the things you've you got to keep an eye out for. Uh, the other big one is change management. So obviously... You have a lot of different changing technologies. Um, you've now got a large fleet, a lot of people. That change has to be propagated across everybody. Um, so, you know, you can't just, you know, quickly change something and carry on. It's, it's actually has to go through a bit of a bit of a process to try and manage that. Um, and then, you know, the one everyone faces, uh, you want to do the more complex stuff. So you, you start to hit those um, those regulator approval challenges and trying to put those more sophisticated applications together. Uh, so what should the, the goals be, he, be here? Uh, again, it's it's kind of it, this, this integration and making it sustainable, so tying it into the existing enterprise systems uh, within the business, um, building us a, a way to capture knowledge and share that across people um, in the organisation. Uh, so we know there's there's a few organisations that have set up internal uh, intranets and internal groups to basically you know get that knowledge sharing happening between everybody in the organisation. And then that uh, process is in place to essentially adapt. So any new technology that comes along can be deployed really quickly. So you know again a new model of drone comes along, how do you roll that out efficiently? A new payload comes along, how do you get that into everyone's hands, trained up um, and operating as, as quickly as possible? So that that's uh, a bit of an overview of, in a little bit of detail on each of the five stages. 